All right, welcome everyone. Detox 101. So here's why I want to start with detox. Detox is a big, a big deal. Um, I've been in practice for eight years. I've taken care of a lot of patients and I find that our society tells us about eating kale. It uh, talks about how we should walk more and exercise and get our sleep. There's not enough information out there about toxicity and how our world is toxic and our world is becoming more toxic and how that affects our health, our ability to heal. And quite honestly with women, how that affects our hormones, our ability to get pregnant, our mood, and so many other things. So I wanna start with detox. I have a lot of information for you guys. I'm gonna start with basic principles and then we're gonna build on these with more videos. So talking about detox, Toxicity is a huge issue and one of the reasons I'm focusing on it is because as I've taken care of women over the last eight years of my practice, I've found that women that are trying to get pregnant struggle with toxicity. There's usually a toxicity component to why the body is not doing what we are biologically created to do. Um, for women that have gotten pregnant and had a baby, I find that a lot of times they have what we call a toxic dump and they experience symptoms postpartum and even after that um, with hormone imbalance, with change in hair loss and so many other things that we'll dive into. And then also kiddos, huge, huge, huge issue with toxicity in kiddos. So I wanna start with basic principles and then we will build on them, uh, build upon them each week. So today we are gonna talk about the neurotoxic effect and the overflowing bucket principle. So here we go. Okay guys, let's dive into this. So today we're gonna to be talking about the neurotoxic effect and the uh, overflowing bucket principle. I'm starting here because I don't know about you, but I need sometimes just the basic foundational information and then we can build on it from there. So neurotoxic effect. Um, I know that there are probably people watching this video that are like, yeah, doc, so I have um, worked on eating clean and I have uh, maybe changed my exercise routine and I take vitamin D and supplements and yet I can't lose weight and I still feel like crud and I'm not sleeping well. I have no energy, whatever that symptom may be. And there may be some of you that have struggled with health conditions, uh, maybe metabolic conditions, diabetes, maybe liver issues, maybe hormone imbalances and thyroid. And I will tell you that one thing that I find that is missing or one piece that we are not addressing is neurotoxicity or neurotoxins. And neurotoxins can affect the brain, they can affect our hormones, and I mean, they affect our cells. And so when we're looking at health overall, if you are a patient of ours, if you've worked with us before, you've heard us say this, we are always looking at root cause. I'm a chiropractor, that is a chiropractic principle to address root cause. And I say root cause, I mean, we are looking at what is the cause of a symptom? What is the cause of a problem? Um, and so we focus on what we call going upstream. And again, it's just like it sounds. So coming here and then going a little bit further and a little bit further and figuring out what is the upstream or root cause of why you're having the symptom and why you're having this condition. And one of the most common upstream causes that I see is neurotoxicity. So neurotoxins are heavy metals, uh, chemicals, biotoxins, and many other things, but let's start with those for right now. And so one thing that I think that we fail uh, with on all accounts with our healthcare model and the way that we approach our health is we're taught to approach our health with an outside in approach, outside in. So what that means is if you have a skin rash, outside in approach would be putting a rash cream on that skin rash, that's outside in. So that is not trying to find what's causing the rash. Is it something that you ate? Is it a gut issue? Is it um, an immune uh, autoimmune condition? Is it a liver condition? Is it um, a, a reaction, uh, allergic reaction to something, right? So an outside in approach. Here's what we're looking at. So this skin rash, by the way, I don't have a skin rash, but using this as, a, as an example, um, this uh, a skin rash is a symptom. And every time your body gives you a symptom, it is your body being super stinking smart. It is your body giving you a warning sign. It is your body giving you a check engine light that says, hey, there, something is wrong. Something is going on underneath the hood or in the body. 
check me out, fix me before I get worse. Don't cover me up, don't ignore me, right? That is what a symptom is. Now, what I find is when our body gets to a point of expressing a symptom, typically what happens is the way that I like to visualize it is you've gotten to a point that your bucket has tipped over. And so I wanna give you guys an example of what I mean so that as we're going through this, you can start to think of ways that your bucket has filled up over time and what may be tipping your bucket. So I've got um, the only bucket I can find in my garage, my Home Depot bucket. Um, and I've just grabbed a couple things here um, that I wanna give you guys examples. So think of this bucket, so whether you do this or a pail, if you were to continue to pour water into a bucket, at some point when the bucket gets filled up, eventually that thing's gonna tip over, right? And then water is gonna spill everywhere. So think of this like, we're gonna talk about a toxicity bucket. So what fills your bucket each day? And I'm gonna talk for, uh, to the females for a second just because we like to do all the toxic things. Um, so when you wake up in the morning and you get in the shower, we get underneath the shower head and it's, you know, pouring all the, uh, <laughs> the crappy water on us, um, probably with, you know, chlorine and everything else in it. So we've got the water, we're doing our, I'm not going to name any names, but um, conventional shampoo. And then we get out and we put mousse in it. And then maybe we spray some perfume and then we load our face up with oil of Olay, and then we put our makeup on and then we get in the car and we've got our car freshener that just like blasts in baby powder scent at us and we're just driving along and it's not even nine o'clock and we've been exposed to like 500 chemicals so think about that from a bucket standpoint these are just examples of different things that you can be exposed to whether it be personal care products which as women we like doing all the things that are personal care usually not the good stuff for us makeup we'll do a whole video on makeup and personal care products and cleaning products because that's a whole nother conversation toothpaste makeup comet febreze and you think of all these things continuing to fill up the bucket and again at some point the bucket tips your body hits a point of neurotoxic effect your body hits a point of that overflowing bucket principle and so this video the purpose of this video is just start with basic information where you just start to get those wheels turning to think what if what is in my house what am i currently doing that is filling my bucket and causing a tip and in the coming weeks videos that we're going to be doing we're going to talk about good, better, best options. We're gonna talk about problem versus solution, how to start to get some of these things out, how to decrease your toxicity load and how to detox properly. So I hope this was helpful. If you have questions, please leave them in the comments below. Bless you guys and I'll see you guys soon.